out today. Hopefully it comes through pretty good. We are headed to the Texas Motor Speedway for MotoFest. Uh, today is Friday. It's a, I believe it's a three day weekend deal. Uh, not entirely sure which days I plan on going or not. This was kind of a last minute decision. Well, okay. Go there, check it out. Hopefully there's some pretty cool vendors there. Hopefully meet some cool YouTubers. Get chat with them. Hopefully. And then, uh... What else? See some flat track racing. I don't even know the schedule of that. I'm just... I saw the, I saw the Moto Fest on the flat track and just bought tickets. And... And, her, and then noticed some of the YouTube guys I watched that they were going. And I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I just bought tickets to go. I was hoping my friend was going to be in it uh, racing on the circle track, the dirt track. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure there's going to be vendors there, you know this that and the other let's go check it out it's about maybe 30 minutes from here depending on traffic but i'm gonna hit you're not familiar with what's called an express lane the lane you pay for that usually goes a little faster than the speed limit here and since you're gonna pay for it not so many people like to use it and it's really cheap for a bike if it picks you up <laughs> so anyways uh, that's a few miles up. I will get going. We're here at the Texas Motor Speedway. Oh, you know it's coming. We're here uh, it's in the infield of the racetrack so all around is the actual track so. all right we're headed to the garage where all the vendors are Woo. So we're outside the Revzilla slash Cycle Gear because apparently they're owned by the same conglomerate, you know, corporation of umbrella of companies. So they've got a mass of gear from off road to on road to track, help, tons of helmets, 10% off everything, including the helmets. Thinking about a helmet, but I need to look at gloves that's what I need to look at and then I'm gonna walk down here and then there's more on the other side of this building I'm gonna go check out some gloves sweet tea. I'm gonna grab my bike and get some lights put on. Service pass. So I'm get, getting some lights put on the bike. Uh, they're gonna install them for free. You know, obviously normally I do it myself, but hey, factory can do it for free, why not? So, so 
let them do their thing not try to bother them because i don't like it sometimes depends on the customer i know i'm a good guy but you never know Vendors that come out so you can test ride some bikes. We got BMW, Indian motorcycles, Kawasaki, and Royal Enfield. Is I believe is I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I don't think I've really ever seen one of those bikes in person. Not know about it. Let's see if I can test ride a bike. Well, I don't have long sleeves or a jacket on me today. It's in my bike, and I don't feel like walking out there. So, meh. Look at a pretty cool Indian though. from Jersey for this? Yeah. Nice. How long have you guys been down here? Uh, Liking it? Yeah. Nice.
Whoa. Before you end the video or click off the video, I'm sure you're wondering, Cliff, where's the lights? Well, uh, trying to, I thought I filmed it. I'm pretty sure I filmed it. And then also filmed a outro or me riding home explaining everything, blah, blah, blah. Well, either I didn't record it or it didn't record when I pushed the button or it took a picture or something like that or got corrupted, lost, blah, blah, blah. Or I accidentally deleted it. Picture poison. Either way, don't have it. So I'm here to explain and show you the lights and stuff like that. And... So, uh, I did get the lights installed. They are awesome. Uh, they light up the ground really well. They're really bright at night. Not like stupid bright, you know, where it's blinding people and shit. But they're bright. They light up the ground in front of you and stuff. And, uh, the guys were super cool. They installed them for me for free. That's why I let them do it. And then, uh, so... And same thing when I go to Sturgis, I, I, I got uh, something I wanted. Hopefully the guys are there and they got a banging deal and I'm going to uh, get some stuff there. So let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the uh, lights, all right? The line them is a little dirty. I have ridden a little bit, got caught in the rain a couple times. This is it. It replaces your, if you got the lower fairing, uh, it replaces your, I guess, the guard for your radiator. Or your coolers so these are the lights right there it looks the same on both sides so I'm gonna turn the bike on that's how bright they are and I'll give it a turn signal bam If you're interested, uh, curious C C A or Z. If you're interested, it's a CVO flathead, the 660 or the I believe they call it the carb, you know, the carburetor. So, anyways, so yeah. Um. Oh, that's why I didn't record. I know why I didn't record home. I if you notice in a little bit in the video. Uh, it started raining out a little bit. Well, I got on the road, got on the freeway, and then started pouring real hard. So, uh, and I think that's the first time I got rained on with the new bike. But, uh, no biggie. So, uh, I stopped, put my rain gear on, made it home. No issues. So, but yeah, the, uh, the, the event went really well. I got to meet. Uh, some of my you, you uh, guys that I follow on and ladies that I follow on YouTube like uh, Shade Tree Surgeon, Flippinot, uh, Shay Lisi, uh, Blockhead, uh, Her Two Wheels, uh, Motor Nasty was there. But every time I go to look for, I see them. But I was, you know, I'm kind of kind of had lines. I'd be in line to go, uh, to, you know, talk and take a picture with one of the other guys. And then I turn around and look for him. He's gone. He was just kind of like here and there, here and there, gone. And it was just like, you know, and he was always in the back. You know, they had some tents set up. He was in the back area. And so I've already met him uh, during one of his Texas rides down in Austin several years ago. I mean, he's a pretty cool guy. But, and then uh, Brian and Bo from... Uh, Chase on two wheels. I was not expecting them to be there. Uh, I've already met Chase before. Pretty cool guy as well. Um, and it was that, that same ride with Monocity. But anyways, it went really cool. Uh, all the YouTube guys are real cool. Uh, it sucked that it, got, it started raining out. They kind of cut things short. So I didn't want to sit there and take a video with them because it, there was a line and... It was starting to rain outside. It was like, you know, say hi, I like your videos type thing. Quick selfie. And so, 
off I went. Anyway, so uh, the event, and I didn't get to do the circle track because it rained out. Of course, you were playing in the dirt. It would be pretty cool to watch them race in the mud. But, uh, yeah, went pretty well. Uh, if you like what you see, give me a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Just be gentle. And then make sure you subscribe, man. We're getting real close to that 1,000. Uh, we just broke 800. Really appreciate it, guys. Really do. Uh, kind of just doing this for fun. But if it takes off, man, hey, man. Uh, so that'd be great. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. Sturges is coming up. My next video should be the, when I went to the Texas, the Texas Iron Rally. I'm surprisingly wearing their shirt that I bought there. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. There's that one's gonna be some fun editing because there's some stuff I need to learn how to blur stuff out. Or yeah, you know what I'm saying. So uh, stay tuned, man. I'll see you guys later. Adios.